Hi everyone, it's me Tammy and I'm here with my November favorites. Um, I do have a good mix of things this month so that's nice, but a, f a few of them are from the same store and I'm sorry. Um, I went to Trader Joe's a lot in the month of October and November and that just seems to be everything that I love this month. So yeah, if you have a Trader Joe's I highly recommend going to like their itty bitty beauty section and trying some stuff out because everything is super cheap. It's like under 5 to I would say under seven dollars everything so that's awesome but my favorite 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 thing month of november is definitely this coconut body butter and it says it's a luxurious body butter made with coconut oil shea butter and vitamin e and what i love <laughs> i love the lotion but i also love the packaging instead of it being a twist which gets kind of difficult when your hands have lotion it's actually just a little pop top so that's convenient and Seriously, this is a serious body butter, not going anywhere. And what I love, love, love is that it's a body butter, but it's not greasy. So, that's awesome. I've been using this for, I would say about three weeks daily. I've barely made a dent in this thing. Because you don't need a lot to get results. So, yeah. It smells so good. So, five bucks. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I will be repurchasing this several times. Next Trader Joe goodie is this honey mango cream shave lotion and you use this as shaving cream it reminds me a lot of the EOS shaving creams except that it's a little thinner so it's definitely more like a lotion and not like a foam like the skin Skintimates but I like that because it makes me or it allows me to get a closer shave and this just smells so good for some reason I don't like the way the EOS shaving cream smell and this smells slightly of mango so so good and it's paraben free and 100% vegetarian. Next items are shampoo and conditioner. And before I even begin, um, Suave is definitely hands down my favorite shampoo and conditioner. They're coconut one. One, because I like the scent. Two, because it actually works. But I actually ran out and I was not able to find it. So when I was at Trader Joe's, I bought the shampoo and conditioner. But I did find the Suave a few days later, and I did buy that again. So I do still love the Suave, but this stuff is amazing. It's a Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo and Conditioner. And I am going to say I legitimately hate the smell of tea tree oil. It makes me want to vomit. It is disgusting, I think. But this doesn't smell like tea tree, which is amazing. So it says invigorate with peppermint, tea tree, and eucalyptus botanicals. This smells like peppermint, which to me is awesome. You leave this on your scalp for a few minutes and you can actually feel the tingling. And when you get out of the shower, you can still feel like that coolness. It is so crazy. But I love these. They were $3.99 each, I think it was, or $2.99 each. I'm not sure. And these are amazing. I feel like in the winter, my scalp gets really, really dry. I haven't had that problem when I use this. My hair looks so shiny and like there's no tangles I can't get over how amazing this stuff is like it is just so so good like so good <laughs> I will definitely be buying this again too like it just my hair seems to really like it it agrees so that's good while we're moving on or while we're talking about hair stuff I'm gonna move on to the Josie Moran and it is called their argan oil hair serum now, these three products, the tea tree um, shampoo and conditioner from Trader Joe's and this, this is all I've been using on a daily basis. Well, I don't wash my hair daily, but it's what I like use all the time now and that's it, nothing else. I use this from, I would say like from my ears down for frizziness and shine and I really like this. I only need a pump and a half for all of my hair and my hair is quite long, it's probably like here now. So yeah, this stuff works well. Some people say that it has a heavy smell or that they don't like it or that it's heavy. Um, my hair is really thick so I do need something a little heavier. I honestly don't think this smells like much of anything. And I'm really sensitive when it comes to smells. Maybe I just have like, maybe this one doesn't smell that bad. Maybe like the full size bottle does. Like maybe I got lucky and they didn't add the funk to this one. I don't know, but I really like it. It's so good for frizz and shine. Um, 
Oh, that's a good transition while we were talking about sense of things. Um, Sephora had their usual Black Friday sale where they have a lot of their sets for like $10. I bought this little set by, I'm not sure how to say it. I think it's Toka. I could be saying it wrong. And it was three little perfume bottles for 10 bucks. I'd never tried the brand before. I didn't even smell the scents. I just bought it and thought, oh, if I don't like the scents, I'll just give it to someone else. Keeping it. Okay. So, one of the scents that I'm absolutely loving is called Stella. And these are little rollerball perfumes. It's not an oil, it's a perfume. Stella has been the scent that I wear every single day. I'll put like a little description over here to let you guys know what the, you know, notes are of it. But it's awesome. This next one is Florence, which to me smells like a light version of the Michael Kors perfume, which, of course, I love, so amazing and last but not least are some tart items i swear it wouldn't be a monthly favorites without tart items um and the only reason i'm showing you guys this was because i saw that this was still on the qvc website this is a qvc exclusive and it is five of their waterproof shadow sticks and i think i paid 28 dollars for five of these sticks so that's already an amazing deal but I had a stick, I still have a stick of this, from February that I love. I use it, I would say it's my go-to. When I'm in an extreme rush and I didn't have time to put on makeup, I will just stick it in my bag or stick it in my purse because you can just put it on your lid and then use your finger to blend it out. And it's the bronze color, which I love. But I knew I needed more. These things are just so hard to find. So when I saw this kit, I was like, whoo, all about it. So first one is called mocha berry and what I love about these things is that they don't go anywhere like you give them about a minute to set they're not going anywhere but they blend out really nice and they blend with each other so well next one is taupe I am rushing a little bit my camera's dying and that's it there third one is satin golden brown and it's the third sloppy one there. That one's kind of meh. It's probably the one I don't like very much. Or the least. It, I guess it's like a good crease color. Fourth is called Moss Green. Which is gorgeous. I didn't think I would like this one as much as I do. And then last but not least is the highlight color. And the everything color. Called Shimmering Sand. And it's the one on the bottom absolutely love it like if you've never tried Tarte before this is the item that I recommend and I've been telling everyone that I think um yeah I recommend it so those are my November favorites if you guys have any questions feel free to ask thanks for watching guys